Okay, add. I'm at my sister Marie's house right now. She's part of the G team. Um, as you guys all know, you've probably seen her in many of our videos. And she just moved down here from Maryland a few months ago, and she's got a uh, three bedroom, two bathroom townhouse here in Spring Hill. And well, she's been having some experiences since she's lived here. Not so much since she started doing the ghost hunting with me, but since she's lived in this uh, this townhouse, she's had some strange experiences. And now it's getting even worse. So I'm going to let her explain what happened last night. She called me at 3 in the morning, freaking out. Um, her and Tyler both. Tyler's her boyfriend, which you guys know who he is too, I'm sure. Um, and I'm going to let her explain right now. Go ahead and explain what happened, Marie. Okay, I was cleaning up the kitchen. We just ate dinner, cleaned up the kitchen, got to the stove, actually had to pull the grate out. I mean, if you can see this. Had to pull the grate out and clean the stove. I left the stove like this because the thing, the little pan was filthy. It's sitting over there. Didn't get it clean, so I was going to soak it. Left it like that. We got done. We turned the lights out. We went around the corner to the living room. We went to walk the dog. Okay, we took the dog out for a walk. We was out about 20 minutes, but we didn't leave the front of our house. We was at the mailbox. We could see the front door. We walked the dog. When we came back in, we, for some reason we come out in the kitchen. I don't know why. Tyler come out in the kitchen, and he asked me, he says, are you boiling water for something? I'm like, no, I just cleaned the whole kitchen up. I'm not boiling water. I walk out to the stove, and this pan, which was in... The cabinet clean was on this burner. The burner was turned on and the water was boiling. Had we came in and went to bed and not walked out in the kitchen, we could have possibly had a fire. But yeah. Freaked me out. Definitely. I called my sister. I didn't know what to do. I was up till 7 30 this morning. And then when it got daylight, I went to sleep in the chair. I couldn't <laughs> sleep. I don't know what it is. We've had other. Things happen in the house. The dog barks at nothing. I mean, he'll bark at the back door. He'll bark at the steps when nobody's around. He barks, looks in our bathroom and barks. He looks in different rooms and just stand there and barks and barks and barks like, like you know, something's there, but we can't see it. Mm -hmm. um, we've also seen shadows, like, going up the steps and up at the top of the steps. I'm going to walk out that way and do up the top of the yeah. steps. Yeah. What we're talking yes. about. If you go over by my recliner... And then turn up towards the steps. Okay. Now, right, right about there. Right about here. If, if you look up the steps, we've seen shadows going up the steps. And across this top here, I've seen somebody walking. And when I holler and say, Haley, is that you? Not this ledge, but up there. And Haley is her granddaughter. I holler, Haley, are you walking by? There's nobody up there. Haley's not walking by. So who, there's shadows. Haley's been locked in her bedroom over seven times, or at least seven times. She's been locked in her bedroom. She gets up to go out to the bathroom and her bedroom door's locked. She doesn't lock it. So last night during all this that went on with the stove being on by itself and you know the shadows and the different things going on and the noises in the house, we decided to go up to her bedroom. We took the, the lock off the hall closet with no lock, it's got no lock, it's just a doorknob. We put it on her bedroom, put the one with the lock on the hall closet. That's still that way, I don't know if it got locked or anything, but that is still that way. And I just, I don't know, it was just freaky. Yeah, I stayed it's definitely up. freaky. I stayed up till the sun was coming in the front window. And wow. then when I knew Tyler was gonna wake up, I went to sleep and slept almost half the day. Okay, tell them what so happened scared. with your phone, too, when you looked down at your phone. Oh, no, I was, that was still last night. So oh, okay. I, since I decided to stay up half the night, or all night, actually, I decided to go in and out of the garage and do laundry and happened to walk through my bedroom to get to go to the restroom. And Tyler, I kept hearing a noise. Tyler was sleeping. kept hearing a noise. And... I turned the TV all the way down, and I still kept hearing this noise. So I reached around, and I finally found Tyler's phone laying at the bottom of the bed, which he always lays on the nightstand. It was laying at the bottom of the bed on my side of the bed. I picked it up, and a song was playing. I never heard the song. I don't even know what it was right now because, I, I, I don't know, it freaked me out. When I picked up the phone, the music was playing, and the, right on the front of the phone it said, Beware. 
beware. So I freaked out, grabbed the phone, came running in the living room to sh over here to show Haley. And, you know, we couldn't explain it. I mean, this is unexplainable. Yeah. The pan being on the, on the, on the stove, it's, it's unexplainable. I know it's not believable. Until it happens to you, you'll never believe it. But yeah. it happened to me, and it, I, I, I'm baffled. I don't know. I don't even. I don't even know what to say. I know. I don't either. I don't know how it's it unbelievable. Happened. It's it's it is unbelievable. And if wow. you told me it happened to you, somebody else, told me it happened to them, I wouldn't believe them. Oh, I know. You, I I've told crazy. I've told my sister so things in the past probably, that's happened to me, and she was had a hard time believing it. This so this crazy. This is you know whatever. But I'm telling you that this did happen and whatever's in my house needs to go because it's scary i mean from the time we've moved in this house we've seen the shadows we've heard the noises at night the footsteps upstairs when nobody's around walking we've heard it so we brought sage in we saged the house we had the house blessed and it's still here whatever it is is still here it seems like it's getting worse because like I said, when we walked in the front front door from walking the dog, we were headed to bed. Why Tyler walked in the kitchen, I think he, he must have went in to get a drink. I don't know why he went in the kitchen. But had he not went in the kitchen and seen that pan boiling on the stove. We could have had a house it. fire. We could have had a fire. Yeah, he could. I don't, he... I don't know what it is. I wanted, I would love an explanation what it is. But... So what we're out of my house. yeah. So what we're gonna do tonight is uh, right now I have Sean and um, Tyler upstairs in that room right up there. They're doing uh, some EVPs with the spirit box and um, the K2 meter. Uh, they're gonna record everything as well. We're gonna try to figure out what's going on here in this home of hers. Um, she's getting to the point where she's scared to even be here. And uh, that's not good when you don't feel comfortable in your own home. And I do know, you know, that very well myself. I've had an experience years ago myself where I did felt the same way. So I, I know how she feels. And I was able to get it out of the house. And that's what we're going to try to do tonight. I want to know who you are and what your purpose here is. Are you friendly? Can you tell us who you are? Mike is Marie's ex-husband, who just recently died. If it is you, Mike, you're scaring everybody here. And I know that's not your intentions. Spirits are in this house. We're an American. Make the meter go to red if you are the one that put the pan on the stove with water to, and turn the stove on. Make the meter go to red. Ooh, what did that say? Are you stuck here? Make it go to red if you're stuck here. Ooh. Okay, well we can help you. Do you want us to help you? We're more than happy to do that. You should go through the light and go be with your family that have already crossed on so that you're no longer here scaring people. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. 
Anything else you want to say before we do? This is your chance to say your last words to us. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Well, this was in my niece Haley's bedroom. My sister Marie's granddaughter. And we picked up a lot of activity in this room, so we decided to come in here. And hopefully we picked up a lot of EVPs. Yep. We won't know exactly what all we picked up until we hook download this up it. to our computer and download it. We used the spirit box, PSB7 spirit box, and we also have a K2 meter, which is right here, and this thing was lighting up like crazy, so we'll see what we get. Okay, we are in the middle bedroom on the upstairs section of my sister Marie's home now and we've been getting a lot of activity and Sean was just up here a little bit ago and went to snap a picture and as he was snapping it the infrared part of the camera caught the image of a little girl about 12 13 years old standing up against the wall by the desk and he said she was dressed in black and had long black hair. But when he snapped the picture, once he snapped it, uh, she didn't show up in the picture. He did it a couple of times. He said he, he saw it. And now my meter is laying here on the floor by the camera. And it's stuck on the second green light. We're trying to make communication with this person. We did think we heard the voice of a little girl a little while ago in Haley's bedroom. Um, so we're thinking maybe there's a little girl here. We don't know if she followed us home from one of our ghost hunting adventures or if she's just uh, trapped here for some reason, but we want to try to find out. So I'm going to turn on my spirit box again and see if we can't make communication with this little girl. Where did you see her at? Over there? He saw her right over there in that corner when he went to take a picture. He's up a little bit higher, of course. Like right up in there. Just standing right there. And I just heard that say something. What did it say? Why aren't you talking to us? I hope you're communicating with us. We will find out when we play this back. It's hard for us to hear you right now, so if I ask the same questions over and over again, it's because I can't hear you. I'm trying. It's, sometimes it's just really hard. But it does sound like somebody's trying to talk. Okay, well, I'm going to record for another 10 seconds, and then I'm going to turn this off. Something's drained my battery. I came here with fully loaded batteries. Okay, what was that? I just heard a man's voice just as I was turning my camera off. Can you repeat that? Hello? Anybody want to talk? I just heard a voice just as I was turning my camera off. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna 
turn that off right now. Oops, the dog's coming to say hello. Louie. 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 Louie, yes, we love you too. Come on. Okay.